Hey everyone, welcome to Brad's Gadgets. Today I've got the Mercury Vessel View Mobile. I'm going to show you how to install it on your Mercury outboard motor. One of the first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the cowl cover. And we're just going to set it aside in some place safe so that it doesn't get damaged. It's very important to make sure there's no power to the engine. So key off or disconnect the battery if you have to. You want no power on during this portion of the install. Okay, you're going to want to uh, locate your terminator. It's got the yellow cap on it. And yours might be located in a different position, but it'll still be on the front of the engine. Now, there's a little tab on it that you're going to want to push in while you pull the plug out. Much like every other standard wire connector. Make sure not to fumble this in the water. We're going to need this terminator to install on the new wiring harness that comes with the vessel view. Alright, so we have our wiring harness here. And you can see the control module. And there's two LED lights on the front of it. And then we have our two connectors on the other end. Now what we need to do is take off the weather guard off the one end of the harness. Pops off just like that and you're going to save that weather guard in case you ever need it. And we're going to take our terminator and plug it in where we pulled off the weather guard from. Okay, make sure you are listen for the click so that it's seated properly. Now we're going to take the other end and plug it in to where we pulled the terminator off the engine. But first, piece of plastic here we got to pull off too. It just says end user to remove mask. So I'll just pull that off just like that. And now we'll get ready to plug this into where we pulled the terminator from. Now it just slides into the same spot you pulled the terminator out of. But listen for that click. That's very important that it's seated properly. Now you can turn on your key or flip the switch to get power again. The smart craft is lit up solid and the Bluetooth is flashing. And it's only flashing because we haven't connected our phone or tablet to the engine yet through the app. So let's go ahead and open up that app. Do not start your engine at this point unless it's in the water or you have ample cooling. So when you first connect, it's gonna take, uh, you know, 20 to 30 seconds. And then uh, the app is going to ask you a bunch of questions that you can fill out, and I will go through that in another video. Okay, so now we're going to want to mount this inside the cowl there. Somewhere on the engine, uh, we want to keep it away from anything that's hot that could possibly melt it. Uh, so anything on the front of the engine will do well for a mounting location. Your exhaust, your heads, anything that heats up is generally going to be at the back of the engine. So you want to avoid mounting it near anything that could melt the module. If you're unsure, run your engine for a few minutes and then wave your hand near the components to see if there's any heat. Now, I said near. Do not touch anything and burn your fingers or hands. Okay, so I found two wire harnesses that I can attach to with a zip tie and i uh, got both ends of the control module secured and uh, that way it won't flop around and uh, being at 81 grams it's not enough weight to do any damage to the crinkle tubes or pull out the wire harness wires all right so you can see the final install here it's just zip tied in place Now all that's left is to put the cowl back on your engine. Once you fire up your boat, then the fields within the app will populate because it's getting the data from the engine. And you can customize this screen however you want, uh, but that's again for another video. I'll show you how to do that and what's available.
All right, and that's all it is to install it. Um, I've seen other videos where people have said to just leave the control unit inside the cowl somewhere. But you know, and I know, that being out on the water, you're gonna hit the bumps, you're gonna hit the wakes, you're gonna bounce around pretty good. And that's gonna cause that control module to just flop around and eventually break. While it might not be the best install, at least it's solid, it's not moving, and it's not gonna to put too much weight on any of the other wiring harnesses. Uh, like I said, at 81 grams, it's not heavy by any means, but flopping around inside your cowl, it will do damage. So you wanna make sure that that is secure. And then from there, you can use your Vessel View mobile on your phone or tablet. That's right. So the app is available both for Android and iOS Apple. So hopefully you learned something from this video and uh, got something out of it. Uh, you can see that it's definitely a very easy install to do. Anyone can do it. And it's, uh, it's definitely worth its weight in gold, I think. Just even for the hour meter alone. And uh, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't. There's also a little bell down in the right that you can click on to be notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.